Hi everyone, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Content Library Portal plugin and its features. The Content Library Portal portal is available for both HAM and SAM. Asset managers often don't know the various table names for all the content tables. The Content Library Portal allows for visibility into the content tables without having to go directly into the content tables themselves. Content Library Portal is a plugin that needs to be installed after installing either HAM or SAM. Asset managers can search the content library for specific hardware products or model numbers and view other related content such as lifecycle data. I'm now going to jump into an instance and give you an overview of installing and using the Content Library Portal. Okay, so now I'm logged into a Vancouver instance of ServiceNow that already has the Hardware Asset Management plugin installed and configured. So now I'm going to go through the process of installing the Content Library Portal. So I'm going to navigate to the plugins. And in the search, I'm going to look for content portal, or sorry, content library portal. And we can see in this instance that it's already available as a store application. So it's already been requested for this instance. If you go into the plugins and don't see it listed here, you're likely going to have to go over to the ServiceNow store and search for the content library portal and then request the installation so that plugin is available for you. So once the plugin's available in your list of plugins, it's quite simple. You just click on the Content Portal Library and click on Install and ask when you want to install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the Install and we're gonna pause the video while this installs. Okay, so the installation has completed successfully so I can view the details if I want or I can just close the dialog box. Now I'm going to navigate to the workspaces and go into my hardware asset workspace. Now that my workspace has loaded, I can see that there is a new uh, menu item available for me called Content Lookup. So I can click on the content, which is going to load the Content Lookup um, portal. So in this portal, uh, asset managers can search by model numbers, they can search by product names, uh, etc. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just search for a specific model number and take a look and see if it's in the content library. Uh, one of the things you might see on some of the uh, older versions, if this is um, not a new version, um, I know Washington and possibly Vancouver don't really need to have this feature enabled, but you might have to enable the AI search feature to use this. So to go ahead and do this, you have to click on the enable, which is going to bring you to the AI search. And you can actually request the AI search. So this does sometimes take a little while to actually go ahead and activate. So I'm going to just wait a minute and then come back and check to see if this has been activated. Okay, so I've waited to for the AI search to be enabled. Just note it does take some time. So what you can do is you can navigate away from the install page and then just come back and look for AI search status in the filter navigator and that will show you when the search is enabled. So now that the search is enabled, I'm going to go back into the hardware asset workspace. And again, I can come back into my content portal and I can do something like look up uh, ThinkPad. So I'm a hardware asset manager. I want to take a look at all the different ThinkPads in the environment. And click on, say, for example, this one and see all the related content for this particular ThinkPad model. So again, I can see the model number, the name, the product, and if there's any hardware lifecycle definitions defined. So this can really help hardware asset managers review or identify the content that is available for a specific model or a specific product within their instance. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, in the SAM videos, we'll go through the content portal for SAM. Thank you very much.